All right, so this video is about Venn diagrams, understanding Venn diagrams. This is the first question. Um, Monique has three sons who play football, two sons who play baseball, and one son who plays both sports. If all of her sons play baseball or football, how many sons does she have? Does she have? So we start off our universe. And in this universe, everybody either plays baseball or football. So we'll call this baseball. Call this one football. And it's best to work inside outwards. So I'm going to figure out what's in this bubble first. And it says that uh, she has three sons who play football and two sons play baseball and one son who plays both sports. So here is one because one son plays both sports. If all of her sons play baseball or football, how many is left? So if she has three sons who play football, it leaves you only two sons left that play only football and then one there. So that's a three sons that play football. And then it says that she has two sons play baseball. So one is here and one is there. So if you notice inside of her universe of all of her sons, she has one, two, three, four. She has four sons. Because she don't have any sons that don't play any sports. Let's try a new question. Question number two, or oh, that would be answer choice four. Question number two says that a company diagram shows the results of a survey asking which sports the members of the key club watch on television. This is sports watch on television. Um, and the first question was, which statement is true? Which statements are true? Um, the most watched sport is tennis. And then the least watched sport is baseball. And then more key club members um, watch tennis than football. So in order to answer this question, we got to figure out how many people are in each of these bubbles. Let's start with football. You got to add up 11 plus 9 plus 2 plus 5. So this is 20 plus 2 is 22 plus 5. So it's 27. So it's 27 people play football. I watch football. And then we got 10. And then this is 19. And then 21 plus 3 more is 24. 24 people are watching baseball. And in tennis, we have 16 and 5. So that's 21 plus 5 more is 26. So it's 26 people who actually watch tennis. So the first statement says the most watched sport is, is tennis isn't true because football is the most watched sport. The second statement says the least watched sport is baseball. And that is true. That is the least watched sport. Because only 24 people are watching it. And then it says more key club members watch tennis than football. Well, that's also false. Football has more people who watch it than tennis. So answer choices for this problem is two only. All right, let's go to another question. And this we still create in Venn diagrams. And then we're going to interpret what that means. So in this next section, it says, in a class of 50 students, 18 take music, 26 take art, and 2 take both music and art. How many students in the class are not enrolled in either? So start off my universe. In this universe, they told us we have 50 students. And then um, you have options for music and art. So let's say this is music. And let's say this is art. It says, let's start with the inner part first. So there's two students who take both music and art. So it's two. So now it tells me how many people who take, only take art. Because there's 26 students who take art. And two of them take both. So it gives you 24 students left who take only art. And there are 18 students who take music. So since two are already used here, there's 16 students left who take only music. And then that gives us 50 students in the class. So we add these up. This is um, 18 plus 24. The sum of um, 42. So it's 42 people accounted for. 
So it's eight students in the class that don't take music or art. So it's eight students left in the universe that don't take either one. The question says, how many students in the class are not enrolled in either music or art? There will be eight people not enrolled in either music or art. Let's try a new question. All right, so in this question, it says, in a class of 450 students, 300 are taking a mathematics course, 206 are taking science, and 140 are taking both courses. How many students are not taking out of the course? So once again, you're going to draw your universe. And in this universe, we have 450 students. So let's draw two classes. So you got the math class and you have students taking um, science. So we're going to start first with ones who are taking both. So the ones who are taking both classes, 140. So 140 students are taking both. So that leaves you with uh, the 260 taking science. That leaves you with 120 left. Because 120 and 140 gives you 260. They take only science. Now the 300 taking math. That leaves you with, uh, make sure I'm right. I think that's 260. But just make sure. 300 take away 140. Is 160. So there's 100 student, 160 students who only take math. So of all those students, we've got 300 here and then 120 there. So it's 420 students. Make sure I'm right. So yeah, that's 420. And there's 450 students in the whole universe. So there's 30 students that don't take either one. And let's try one last example. This is going to be example number um, five. In this example, it says you have 78 students participating um, in one or more of three sports, baseball, tennis, and golf. So start with my universe. And in, in this universe, you have um, 78 students. And you got three sports to participate in. Baseball, tennis, and golf. So there's um, four students participate in all three sports. Five play um, both golf. Let's start here. Four students participate in all three sports. And put four right here in the middle where all three overlap. And then it says five play both tennis and golf only. So if you're looking at tennis and golf only, make sure I read it right. Five play both baseball and golf only. So baseball and golf only. So baseball and golf only is five people. Or never look at this whole thing, but it said baseball and golf only. So it's five people there. And then it says, and three play both baseball and tennis only. So you got baseball and tennis only. That's three people. And then it says if seven students play only tennis and one play um, only golf. So we got seven students play only tennis and one plays only golf. And let me make sure I read all these. Five play baseball and golf. So that's taken care of. Um, two play both tennis and golf. So tennis and golf, that's two here. So that's taken care of. Three play both baseball and tennis. So that's here, and that's taken care of. And seven play only tennis or only golf. Seven, only tennis, one plays only golf. So that's taken care of. And um, what is the total number of students who only play baseball? All right, so in this universe, there's 78 students, and they all play one of these sports. So um, there's nobody in this universe that don't play any sports. So I need to figure out how many students this is and take away from 78. So 7 plus 3 is 10. And this is 2 and 4. So that's 6. So that's 16 here. 17. 17 and 5 is 22. So my math is right. That's 22. I'm going to take that away from 78. 
So that's 56. I mean, I'm sorry, that's 22 from 78. 22 from 78 is 56. So it's 56 students that left that only played baseball. And that's answer choice um, three. That's all I have. Good luck.